Pneumatic transport explores the behavior of particles as they are moved in bulk from one place to another. Due to the variations in behavior between different particle types and concentrations of particles, the process is very delicate. There are two main types of pneumonic transport, known as dilute phase and dense phase transport. In dilute phase transport, which is pictured to the left, the particles are fully suspended in gas and flow as individuals in the gas. To achieve dilute phase transport, a high gas velocity is required and the stream should have a low solid concentration. In dilute phase transport, the forces between the fluid and the particles dominate, which cause a low pressure drop per length of transport pipe. Some issues with dilute phase is that it takes a lot more energy to get the gas to flow quickly enough, and less particles can be transported in a certain amount of time because of the concentration being so low. Because of this, systems that use dilute phase transport are relatively short. In dense phase transport, which is pictured to the right, the particles interact very constantly due to high concentration of solids and the low gas velocity. There is more pressure drop in dense phase due to friction. At some points, the particles may even begin to settle out, which is known as saltation. It is very hard to confidently distinguish between the two phases, but there are good observations and characteristics that set them apart. Conrad said that dilute and dense phase transport could be distinguished by analyzing the mass flow rate of solids compared to the mass flow rate of air and the concentration of solids in the stream. He specifically noted that in dense phase transport, at some point in the pipe, the entire cross-sectional area of the pipe would be filled with solids. And he also noted that in dense phase transport, some particles may settle out in horizontal pipes. In vertical pipes, there would be some reverse solid flow due to the fact that the force of pressure cannot overpower gravity. This diagram conveys the relationship between the gas velocity and the pressure drop. Line A to B describes a scenario where the stream flowing through the pipe only consists of gas. G equals zero when G stands for concentration. Line C, D, E represents a stream of low solid concentration, G1, which is characteristic of dilute phase transport. Point C occurs when there is a high gas velocity. At point C, the main cause of pressure drop is due to friction between the gas and the wall. As the gas velocity decreases and we stay on line C, D, E, the friction between the wall and the gas decreases, but the concentration simultaneously increases, so more static head is needed. Once below point D, the increasing static head outweighs the decrease in friction, and causes the pressure drop to increase again. In design, the velocity at D is hard to know for sure, so a velocity significantly faster than D is used. Between D and E, the concentration increases to a point that the gas can't hold the solids anymore and slugging begins to occur. Slugging during pneumatic transport is also referred to as choking. The choking velocity, uch, is the lowest velocity particles can be transported. Choking can be reached by increasing concentration or decreasing gas velocity. This diagram shows the relationship between the pressure drop and the gas velocity for a horizontal pipe instead of a vertical pipe. At point C, the suspension is dilute and the turbulent flow helps prevent particles from settling out. The velocity at point D represents the saltation velocity where particles begin to settle out. Any further decrease in gas velocity causes rapid salting out of solids and the pressure drop increases as solids restrict gas passage. U-saltation is a boundary between dilute and dense phase transport. Between E and F, some dilute particles can pass through the opening passage between the built-up particles and the wall. Particles at this point are being picked up off the settled particle bed while others are settling out themselves.